Right. And let's move on to the cost issue. You said in a Bloomberg interview this year, cost is the number one thing we have to work on for electric cars. How do you see that changing? And how are you going to bring the cost down? Because I think Dan Acker Ackerson said recently we need to bring the price of the Volt down by seven to 10,000. That was the, the ballpark he's looking at. I get a lot of assignments on those, uh, along those lines. <laughs> he but that's he tells you that on a yeah. weekly basis, does he? So um, cost is a number one issue. And it's, um, you know, it's very exciting to talk about um, you know, beautiful luxury, luxury cars like the ELR. But um, you know, I've talked to a few of you in the room. And uh, this idea of increasing adoption is going to mean that we, we need to provide um, solutions that fit a multitude of people's of people's needs, and you know, with that comes uh, multiple price points, um, and so it's going to take that whole suite of solutions. And you know, the the well, the adoption rate here in this in this uh, local area is probably the highest in the world, frankly. Um, you know, that's not the case uh, across the rest of. Um, across the rest of, of the globe. And so we need to find these uh, solutions that um, uh, can pe meet people's needs not only functionally but from a cost basis. It's all about scale. So the more, you know, the more adoption we can have, it, the more it hits the scale, uh, the scale uh, with bringing you the cost down. Right. Exactly. But, you know, technology is obviously a uh, part of that, too. And we need to, as you can imagine, we have uh, uh, many activities going on and uh, researching the technologies that go into building these cars. So batteries get all the attention. You know, it is absolutely the uh, uh, most costly component um, in the car. So we have a lot of um, uh, work going on internally as well as externally to look for new uh, battery technologies. Um, we, we do have uh, the largest uh, battery research lab um, of any automaker in the US. And there we study um, you know, not only uh, chemistries, but cell construction. We get into um, you know, cell life, battery pack design, battery pack life. So we have that work that goes on internally. As you can imagine, we also um, have investments in a number of um, external um, sources for uh, new chemistries, um, et cetera. So uh, that's important, and it gets beyond, so that's all the battery talk, but it gets beyond that, too, because the new electric motors um, are, a significant, um, are a significant cost in the car, the power electronics, all the high-voltage high um, uh, components. So on many, many fronts, we need to continue to look at you know, new materials and new uh, uh, processes for, um, for manufacturing. And, um, you know, in some cases, just uh, complete departures um, of, uh, of what we're doing today. You know, you can think about electric motors, right? They've been around for a very long time. You have them in your um, refrigerators. You have them in your um, washing machines. And the motors, the electric motors we have in your car, I'll guarantee you, don't look like those. <laughs> and um, probably have a longer warranty, too, maybe. But... Uh, um, so, you know, that's an example where you can have something that has the same exact function but a very different implementation. And so, you know, I think you're going to see us uh, continue to evolve the, you know, fundamental principles on um, all those components that I mentioned.